Hey guys, to get started head over to serpapi.com. Register a new account using GitHub or Google account, or create an account using different email and a password. Scroll to the bottom of the page where you can find a playground. Make sure you're on the Google Search API. Change search type to Google Images and change number of result to 100. This will tell SERP API to return a 100 images per page. You can also play around with other parameters that SERP API provides. Here I'm showing that the first image has a position of 1, and the 100th image has a position of 100. You can also use an export to code playground feature, and choose whatever language you're the most comfortable with. In this example, I'm using Python. Just click the copy button and you're good to go. Don't forget to install Google Search Results package via pip. Now to the actual code and editor of your choice. First we need to import libraries. Add parameters and make sure that ijn parameter is an integer. Add a temporary list. Set up a while loop to iterate over all pages. Check for error dictionary key from the JSON which will be used to exit the while loop. Add another for loop to iterate over images results. Check if the image is already in the temporary list or not. And if not, append it. This is used to skip duplicates. After that, you need to increment a 1, which will return data from the next page. Then print the results. Here's a live output and me clicking on image URLs to demonstrate their resolution. As you can see, it's not a one-on-one -on -one image placeholder, so we can call it a successful mission and be proud of ourselves. To iterate over multiple search queries set up a for loop before parameters. Pass loop value to query parameter, and make sure that a temporary list is located before for loop with multiple search queries. And that's basically it. Here's the actual output from iterating over 4 search queries which result in 2000 plus images in around 10 to 15 seconds. This is without using an optional ludicrous speed SERP API feature. However this may take a little bit longer because of the captcha that SERP API needs to solve on their backend. In the description you can find a link to online editor where you can test the code by yourself with different search queries and parameters. That's it for now, I'll see you in the next video.